whether or not is filmed before a live guinea pig studio audience. So I'm back in my office again. All right, so uh, welcome to whether or not. We're just going to look at very briefly here, relatively speaking, because you know how long-winded I am, right? I mean, I don't know if anybody clicked on the uh, link to uh, watch a testimony uh, in the Pennsylvania uh, Pennsylvania Senate workshop testimony, but um, I tend to get wordy. Okay, so I'm going to try to be less wordy than normal, okay? Now, oh, there's my book. I, I didn't even mean to put that on, but there's my book. All right, good. Here's what we're going over today. Big hurricane seasons in the tropics versus the weaker seasons. Now, this is 2005. Sea surface temperatures at this time. See them all below normal off the southeast coast here. Very warm in the tropical Atlantic. All right, you see, all, you see that right there? You see how warm that is? Cold over warm forces what I call incubation. What is incubation? Well, it means the heat gets to build up, right? So you have higher than normal pressures uh, tending to show up where the, the water is a little bit colder. And when that happens is uh, extra convergence. Um, so uh, we look at 2017, you had a similar aspect going on here. Remember all the storms, they were coming in through here, right? So um, you, you see that relationship. Now watch what's going on this year. It's the opposite. Now, that doesn't mean that there's going to be no storms. It just means that uh, with, with all this warm water sitting out here like this, means there's a tendency for lower pressure out there. Low pressure to the north and not as low to the south means that your activity is weaker in here. And it may be stronger in here, but turn out. And what you have to uh, be concerned about in a hurricane season like this is how warm the water is in close to the coast. Now, this is the Madden-Julian oscillation forecast, and already my little antenna are up for maybe uh, 10 or 15 days down the road because, you see, it gets into phase 8 and phase 1, and when we look at the relationship, phase 8 and phase 1 favors development in here. See that? And that's where Michael, remember when Michael uh, was developing, the reason why I was so bullish on it being so strong was we were in phase eight of the Madden Julian oscillation or going into it. And you say, look out for intensification as they come to the coast. Uh, the other interesting aspect, and you can see the, you see the U S model is actually trying to, uh, pick some of this out there. Hold on a second. Let me get my painter on here. See that, see how it's picking out the extra convection going on, uh, in the Caribbean over there, but look at all the heavy rain in Texas. Now we've got this flood that's coming down the river now. And that's caused by snow melt and the, you know, spring flooding uh, that they have. And it's serious. But it's going to be interesting to see when that crest gets down here after all this rain from these rivers pouring into the Mississippi. And, of course, what's going on in Texas. Now, this sets up the threat of not only flooding because of this. And I've, I've been telling folks in Texas to uh, think about that 2007 season because the pattern looks quite similar to that as far as uh, current rainfall amounts. Uh, but... Uh, also, you, you get something developing in the Gulf and come in there with already f rivers near flood stage. That's going to be it's, it's something to watch. OK, something I'm concerned about. Put it that way. Uh, here's what I want to show you. To, and this was the uh, forecast for May 20 days ago by the climate model. Ten days ago. Now that we are five days in the month, it's seeing the cold air. Anyway, thank you excessively for joining me in front of the live guinea pig studio audience and enjoy the weather. It's the only weather you've got.